Stephen, what pleased you most about last night? Yeah, I think the, the level of performance. Uh, I think first half, it was exactly what we were looking for. Um, that's the level we've been striving for for a long time. And um, I was slightly disappointed at half-time that we didn't have a bigger advantage and a bigger margin because we certainly created numerous chances at the penalty um, incident to that as well. Um, you're actually in there at half-time thinking the performance deserved more goals. Um, but in terms of you know, setting a game plan out for the players to follow, they, they, were, they were outstanding for the majority of the game. I think we, we took probably five, six minutes to get going from the beginning. And then at times we were hanging on in, in the final stages, but you've got to take into consideration you're playing against the top players and against the top team. And um, the Europa League is a very difficult level. Um, but in the main, I'm absolutely delighted with the, with the players' performance. You've had big European nights in the past at Anfield as a player, but how did the Ibrox atmosphere compare for you last night? Look, it, it, it's right up there. Um, I think around the world there's, there's a handful of stadiums that can create that. Um, Anfield for sure being one of them because I've experienced it on numerous occasions as a player, but to stand on the side and um, soak that atmosphere up last night, it was special. Um, and these are the nights we want more of. Um, it's very addictive being part of nights like that. Um, I think obviously the, the last 48 hours as well, uh, the emotion of that, I think the, uh, the performance was uh, very fitting. Um, and I'm sure the, the, the Rickson family are very proud of the players and, and the application they gave. And It was just a special night for everyone connected to the club and it was a, it was a difficult night because of the previous 24 hours. How big a statement was that result last night for you in terms of, of where Rangers are? Um, look, it was a good performance. Um, the players will get a lot of credit for it and rightly so, but for me it's very important to move on um, as quick as we can. And that's always going to be the case, whether it's a defeat, whether it's a draw or a win. Because the games are coming thick and fast, we have to learn to move on as quick as we can because St Johnston will be a difficult challenge, a different challenge. Um, we have to get the players recovered as quick as we can and try and get some energy into them for the game because, unfortunately, the SFA don't help us in situations like this. They give you the 12.50 in kick-off, which is crazy. But we have to live with that, deal with it and get on with it. What would be your ideal of, situation in terms of playing on Thursday, Sunday if you got to pick when you, when you played at the weekend? It's just normal time, isn't it? It's just normal time. In terms of, you know, you talked about the first half performance and you, look at, you said you could have been up more at half time. Is that maybe strangely encouraging that, that you went on to, to win the game and, and you've still got more levels to, to go up? No, I, I think, I'm, I'm not sure how many more levels we've got from that. Of course, we could maybe have took a few more half chances and helped ourselves and tried to kill the game off. Um, but you know, you're playing against good defenders and you're playing against good teams who are organised, not just going to let you score score at will. But there's different parts of a football match that you have to improve at. It's not just scoring and everything that people come to watch the game to be good at. It's game management, it's putting your body on the line, it's running hard, it's being organised, it's sometimes relying on your keeper to bail you out. There's many, many aspects of a of a performance that you need, especially at that level, and um, in the main, we got the majority of them really, re really spot on last night. Is that back the performance a... you show to Borna Barisic again and say, you know, that's more of what I want to see from you going forward? Borna was outstanding. Um, the, the back four I picked last night, I went for experience. Um, I brought two internationals in, Philip being one of them, who has experienced that level before, both internationally and in Europe. So that was a no-brainer. And um, Bona's the Croatian left-back, so he either played in them pressure games against that level of opponent. Um, Bona's a top player. We brought Bona in here for a reason, because um, we feel he can contribute a lot from left-back. Uh, I thought his performance was, was outstanding last night, and that should give him a lot of belief and confidence to build on that. Um, but Bona's very highly respected within the the staff uh, and, and the dressing room. Um, other people have obviously got opinions on him, but we don't really take much notice of that. We just worry about what we see and the belief we've got in the player, and it's certainly there. You said you're in the midst of weekend, midweek, weekend, midweek. Is there anything of change, or you will change, your preparations for games now this year? 
Um, no, but I, I think we we have to realise from Thursday to Sunday you don't really get much pitch time. Um, certainly with the majority of the players, you know, a lot of them will be on recovery today and do a really light session. So we have to maybe try and get information into them a different way, whether that be um, you know, inside, whether it be walking through certain situations. Um, but it's very difficult to, to get training time from Thursday to Sunday. But you know that's the same for a lot of teams. We just have to get on with that. Um, but is the reason why we've gone for volume in terms of the squad and tried to get extra quality in, in certain areas of the pitch because I am going to have to make changes in the team as we go along. Not drastic changes, but just try and tweak it to freshen it up and get some energy in the team. When's the next time you're going to have a week's training? A full week's training for the team? You tell me. I don't know. Um, it'll probably be after the international break, but then you've got a different situation because you've got players coming in from all over the world. Some players have played 290 minutes. Uh, some people might have a bit of jet lag, i.e. Scott Arfield or Alfredo Morella, so that's a different type of challenge, but we're not complaining. It's the it's the way it is. We, we'll get on with it, but I think for the likes of ourselves uh, and Celtic, uh, you would like to think that our own league would help us in terms of kickoff times, but they go the other way and they make them earlier and they give you more than kickoffs. Is that something the club's <coughs> made representation about? I don't know, I probably haven't been up here long enough to, to maybe bring that up, but um, it's not good, is it, when you're kicking off at 8 o'clock on a Thursday night and your players, the adrenaline, and you can't get asleep till 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, and then uh, our league, who was supposed to be our governing body, who help us go and agree a kick-off time at 12.15 on a Sunday. Have you any bumps and bruises from, from last night? Yeah, quite a few, yeah. Quite a few. Has anybody ruled out? No. no. What kind of challenge are you expecting from St Johnston? Well, I think they'll try and play on the fact that we've had a really tough game on Thursday night. So um, I think the results have improved slightly of late. Um, Tommy's a good manager, um, really well organised. Um, got a real strong result against us at Ibrox, um, the back end of last season. So. I certainly respect him and, and his team. It'll be a different type of challenge there at home. Um, but it's a very important game for us, big three points, and we need to try and take the, the feel-good factor from Thursday night and try and take it into Sunday. And as I say, there'll be a few changes in the team. Um, and we'll go there with hopefully a team that's good enough to get the job done. Last night was your 75th game in charge of, believe of Rangers. Are you still enjoying it? I'm loving it, yeah, but I wouldn't have said 75. I mean... I suppose time flies when you're having fun. Philip, how much did you enjoy last night? Uh, I really enjoyed it. I think we got a good, potent victory, and uh, and yeah, with all the atmosphere and, and and things like that, it was it was it was fun. Obviously, you know you you, you haven't played too much in the build-up to the game. You were sort of thrown in to this one. You seem to deal with it very well. Was that your sort of big game experience from from Italy that sort of shone through? Do you feel? Yeah, well, I'm 26 years old and I've played a lot of lot of important games and played like against. I think in Italy I played every week against players with with on, in that quality or even better. So, so I think for me it was not it was not like. A different challenge than than any other game. With your performance, are you hoping that you can now kick on and put a, together a run of games in the first team and try and stamp a place in the, in the first team? Yeah, well, I, I always hope to play, and I felt ready now for a while, and and now I got the chance to play. So of course I'd like to play more. It's a case of you know with a game coming around so quickly on Sunday you. You don't want any rest. You want to be back out there on the pitch and, and making sure that you can make an impact again. Yeah, well, as long as you feel fresh and 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 uh, and have the energy, you always want to play. And I think, and I think that's the case for everyone. I hope to play as well.